Peer review. Peer review is a foundational process in the academic enterprise. A researcher makes a discovery or posits an idea. She conducts an investigation, writes up her findings, submits this written text to an academic journal. Her peers in her field scrutinize her hypotheses, the methods, the findings. If it passes this scrutiny, the paper is published and it enters the body of knowledge. Ultimately, putting these findings up as an artifact for further scrutiny. However, although this process has served humanity extremely well, this uh, peer review and publication process, privileges certain types of knowledge above others, and it privileges certain types of media above others. So what this means is that certain fields, in particular certain fields of practice, are sort of left out of, the, of having access to this great innovation engine. One of those fields of practice is teaching. I've been testing out a concept that applies this peer review process to videos of instructional practice. I just wrapped up a pilot where I asked professors at Arizona State University to think about some instructional method or practice that they're really good at. I asked them to record it. And then I asked them to write a brief write-up that states what's in the lesson, what's the material, what's uh, the context of the, of the lesson in terms of student body, student makeup. Um, and, th and then I asked them to submit it write up and video for peer review. The reviewers scrutinized both the video and the paper, and then they made a determination to either accept, to reject, or to ask for revisions. The results of that, of that pilot are about to be published in ASU's open access journal, the EPAA. This project was conceived as a knowledge mobilization project from the very beginning. The initial goal was to discover, to test, to experiment, and then ultimately to, to scale a, uh, a method that could mobilize the knowledge of those 84.4 million teachers and professors that are around the globe. That's 84.4 million people who are in the practice of teaching that are not documenting their best practices, that are not, uh, that are not submitting these best practices up to the rigor of peer review, and then having a vehicle to go ahead and disseminate this information more widely. I want to evangelize this concept. So with that said, by the end of 2019, I'd like to have 100 peer-reviewed video journals of teacher instruction created around the globe. In short, this tool is a vehicle for innovation.